Their driving skills to avoid collision with another Super League car that had crashed heavily at race two in Brands Hatch last time out. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Oh, that's a huge accident by Chris Vandergrift. There has been a massive accident on the back stretch here of Chris Vandergrift for Olympiacos. He had a massive crash. I hope. Uh... Everything is okay. Uh, I hope he's okay. Red flag has been called. No surprise there. I see the crash. The car is very, very bad. I hope. I hope for him. Oh, oh and that's a terrible, terrible accident. I saw it on the screen. I think uh, he don't can be alive. Um, it was the worst day on a, on a track that I have in my life. So uh, and I was completely shocked. Then I sort of looked up at the screen and saw his car upside down. And uh, I was like, no, no, you, you're in shock for ages. That's not him. It didn't feel real. Um, but for a good 10 minutes, we didn't know if he was alive or not. And uh, not much, not much was said. You just bits everywhere and fire and smoke and all that and turning around and flipping and crashing. And I had definitely had a lot of luck on my side to get, get through it like that. Well, we went to the medical centre and we got there and he was all, his clothes had been cut up off him and he was in a brace and um, I just want, you just want to cuddle him and kiss him and make it all better and um, he looked at me and goes, I was fast, eh? <laughs> and you just like, you feel like, no, shut up! <laughs> My ankle um, was dislocated or it wasn't connected anymore so that was all busted so I've got a few um, bolts and plates and that holding it together. And then I've got a small bone in, in my right wrist, which is broken. And my little pinky finger was dislocated and poking in another direction. And my shoulder blade is a, is a small crack, I think. And then I've got my index finger, which was basically cut open. Just that finger from top to bottom, really. Our thoughts go with Chris Vanderdrift. Let's hope he's OK. You know, now I need to have a good comeback, really, I think. And, you know, not try to rush it too much that I come back and, and then run around at the back of the field but come back and, and do really well again or just lift off where I was um, or even better and that would be absolutely perfect I think. For Chris, in my opinion, the place should be for him. So we are still waiting and uh, I personally wish him all the best uh, that he recover quick and come back to the team. He's not allowed to do it again. I said you either don't do it again or you're grounded forever. <laughs> <laughs> Vanderdrift's teammate Max Vissel of FC Basel had a close call driving around the wreck of the Olympiacos car. Yeah, first of all, you have to see that you uh, don't crash him. And um, after this, normally you, you know when you see the uh, yellow flags, you stay nearly on flat because you stay in the race. But it uh, was uh, under the bridge and you couldn't see it, it was down the hill. And yeah, you break and have a look and you just see the cars, everything's destroyed. It's a horrible moment for every driver. Little did Vissel know that the survival cell of van der Drift's car was completely intact and that van der Drift would be able to recover completely from his injuries. The Super League car, constructed by Elan Motorsports, has proven to be an extremely safe and reliable car. Oh, oh that's a huge accident by Chris van der Drift. I see the crash. The car is very, very bad, I hope, I hope for him. Obviously, I hope Chris is all right, mainly. Do you know, I'm a racing driver, we, we know the risks. Three cars went left and there was just a wheel in, in the centre of the track and I had to go right. And then there was just debris everywhere. Um, I tried not to hit the big bits. And then you could just see Chris upside down at the bottom of the hill. But, you know, as soon as the, uh, after the accident, we went racing again. Lights out, away we go! It's Beijing in front! What we have here in Super League, there is a big, big car. And uh, this saves the life of uh, Chris, because uh, if you have seen the other cars, uh, that the monocoque was broken and everything on the car was destroyed. There are basically front and rear impact structures, there are side impact structures, and then of course the one that everybody knows about is the roll hoop above the driver's head. And in the case of Chris van der Drift and Olympiakos, the heaviest impact was in the side, and the impact structure on the right-hand side and the basic structure of the monocoque itself really held up fantastically well. If you see the, the picture from the accident in slow motion, you see that the first impact on the bridge was exactly here, and this saved his life. He came away with remarkably few injuries considering the, the intensity of the impact.
you know, Chris is, is lucky to be to be alive really, but shows how strong the cars are and uh, yeah, it's a uh, one big one. I can say in, in a few other racing series that for the deck crash I wouldn't be talking about it now either, so lucky that Super League has the car is big and it is heavy and it's durable really and it's tough enough to take and withstand um, that sort of you know crash. So for that side it's good and I think everyone else shouldn't be that worried because I know they can do some pretty big crashes and get away with it. <laughs> this is the pit of GU Racing and after weeks of hard work there's a rebuilt Olympiacos car ready for battle this weekend at Adria. British driver Ben Hanley makes his debut. He'll step out of the car when Chris van der Drift is fit to race again.